Hey what's up guys, it's Kelly, welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a mammoth unhaul. <laughs> If you find yourself enjoying this video then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, it really helps me out and if you're new here and would like to see more of me then please subscribe. So I mentioned in my, I think my 2021 goals video that I had a pretty mammoth unhaul coming. I don't actually know how many books I'm unhauling. It's a lot. It, it, it's, it's a lot. <laughs> but I haven't counted them yet, I'm probably just going to count them now as I do this video. Now, because I have so many books to show you, I'm not going to be really telling you what they're all about or even really why in every individual situation I'm unhauling them. It'll just take way too long. Instead, what I've done is I've divided them into categories. Just popping in to say that I've decided to change the way that I grouped the books for this video. Over the years, working in a bookstore, I've accumulated a lot of books that I'm just, I'm no longer interested in and I don't see myself reading in the near future and therefore I'm, I'm quite happy to get rid of and also I've spent a lot of my life shopping at secondhand book sales so things like buying you know a kilogram of books for 10 rand or like as many books as you can fit into a box you can get for x amount of money like I've accumulated a lot of books because they were cheap and they sounded like vaguely interesting or they were free and they sounded vaguely interesting and being realistic with myself I'm not going to read them anytime soon possibly ever so my unread books are mostly things like that where I've accumulated them over the years and I just I don't see myself reading them so they've, they've got to go and then much nicer looking me will explain the situation with my red books. <laughs> and some of these might surprise you, some of these are books that I love, but I do need to downsize my collection and I do need to get rid of books for a variety of reasons and at this point that includes books that I have read. If it's not like a particularly special edition and the physical copy of the book isn't special to me or meaningful to me in some way, it has to go. Don't be surprised if you see books on this list that, as far as you were aware, I have read and loved. That is still very much the case with a lot of the books that I'm unhauling that I have read. They're still books that I love, that I consider favourites, but I just no longer need that physical package of that specific book in my life for a variety of reasons that I can't really go into at the moment. So let's get into all the books I'm gonna unhaul. The Bitter Sun by Beth Lewis, The Dying of the Light by Robert Gulrich, Gin Patrol on the Purple Line by Deepa Anapara, The Less You Know the Sounder You Sleep by Juliet Butler, Travel Light Move Fast by Alexandra Fuller, The Other Mrs Miller by Alison Dixon, A Boy and His Dog at the End of the World by C.A. Fletcher, Look to Your Wife by Paula Byrne, The German House by Annette Hess, The Contender The Story of Marlon Brando by William J. Mann, The Particular Wisdom of Sally Redshoes by Ruth Hogan, Where the Light Gets In by Lucy Dillon, Such a Fun Age by Kylie Reed, Paris Echo by Sebastian Fawkes, The Devil's Highway by Gregory Normanton, Vernon Sabutex One by Virginie Despentes, Kismet by Luke Tregett, Anna by Niccolo Amaniti, The Girls in the Picture by Melanie Benjamin, The Alarming Palsy of James Orr by Tom Lee, The Garden of Lost Secrets by A.M. Howell, Every Little Piece of My Heart by Nan Pratt, Ula by Brittany Newell, Car Trouble by Robert Rourke, The Hired Girl by Laura Amy Schlitz, The Hand That I Am the Heart by Zoe Marriott, Honor Among Thieves by Rachel Kane and Anne Aguirre. At the Edge of the Orchard by Tracy Chevalier, The Beadle by Pauline Smith, Nostradamus by Nut Boza, Dr. Zhivago by Boris Pasternak, Dr. Zhivago by Boris Pasternak, Happy People Read and Drink Coffee by Agnes Martin Lugand, Hoot by Carl Hyacin, The Thornbirds by Colleen McCullough, The Mad Hatter's Holiday by Peter Lovesey, Jay by Howard Jacobson, The Return of Sherlock Holmes and His Last Bow by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle, The Innocents by Francesca Segal, The Godfather by Mario Puzo, Music to Move the Stars by Jane Hawking, Fried Green Tomatoes at the Whistle Stop Cafe by Fanny Flagg, Utopia by Lincoln Child, All These Things I've Done by Gabrielle Zevin, The Changeling by Kenza O, Cosette, the sequel to Les Miserables by François Cereza, The Fool by Guillermo del Toro and Chuck Hogan, Schindler's List by Thomas Keneally, The Girl Who Kicked the Hornet's Nest by Stig Larsson, The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stig Larsson, How to Twist a Dragon's Tail by Cressida Cowell, The Glittering Court by Rochelle Mead, and Edgar and Lucy by Victor Lodato. 
The Luckiest Girl Alive by Jessica Null, Eve and Adam by Michael Grant and Catherine Applegate, City of Bones by Cassandra Clare, Between the Blade and the Heart by Amanda Hocking, Cinder and Scarlet by Marissa Meyer, The Complete Collection of the Chronicles of Narnia by C.S. Lewis, Strange the Dreamer by Lainey Taylor, Brideshead Revisited by Evelyn Waugh, and Brideshead Revisited by Evelyn Waugh, Starting Out My Story So Far by Alistair Cook, Are We All Lemmings and Snowflakes by Holly Bourne, Carnival of Souls by Melissa Marr, A Game of Thrones by George R.R. R. Martin, Eric Gone by Christopher Paolini, Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters, and Percy Jackson and the Titan's Curse, as well as Heroes of Olympus, Mark of Athena, all by Rick Riordan, The Unbecoming of Mara Dyer, The Evolution of Mara Dyer, and The Retribution of Mara Dyer, all by Michelle Hodkin, Era Fire, Tower of Dawn, and Kingdom of Ash, all by Sarah J Maas, Merry Mr. Meddle, and The Adventures of Binkle and Flip by Enid Blyton, On the Edge by Richard Hammond, We Need to Talk About Kevin by Lionel Shriver, My Book of Monster Stories, La Nuit de Valonia by Eric Emanuel Schmidt, Project H, Phase by Adam Hamdi, The Naughtiest Girl in School by Enid Blyton, Captain Underpants and the Attack of the Talking Toilets by Dave Pilkey, Scarlet by Kathy Cassidy, Lord of the Flies by William Golding, The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald, A Home at the End of the World by Michael Cunningham, Fudgermania and Fudgermania by Judy Bloom, Dr. Faustus by Christopher Marlowe, Jaws by Peter Benchley, Assassin's Creed Renaissance by Oliver Bowden, Encart by Cornelia Funk, Wonder Woman Warbringer by Lee Bardugo, These Beautiful Bones by Emily Stimson, under My Hat, Tales from the Cauldron by a variety of authors, Bitter Like Orange Peel by Jessica Bell, Stepping Off a Cliff by Doug Dillon, To Kill a Mockingbird by Harper Lee, Heartless by Marissa Meyer, The Becoming of Noah Shaw by Michelle Hodkin, Linger and Forever by Maggie Stiefvater, Malamanda by Thomas Taylor, The Recruit by Robert Muchamore, The Other Berlin Girl by Philippa Gregory, Stepsister by Jennifer Donnelly, A Court of Wings and Ruin by Sarah J Maas, Flunked by Jen Kalanita. So as I said, a lot of books. I didn't count them as I was going, so I'll only actually know how many books it was once I've edited this, and then I shall put in a number. Thank you very much for watching. I love watching unhauls, I find them very cathartic, and I found this process very cathartic for myself. If you are in South Africa and you're interested in any of the books that I've unhauled, then please feel free to email me or DM me on a social media. The finished copies I will be selling and the proofs I am prepared to send to people as long as they pay postage or I am prepared to trade for other books or other proofs. So yeah, if you're interested in any of the books that you see and you're in South Africa, hit me up, we can sort something out. Yeah, I hope that you enjoyed this, I hope that you <laughs> enjoyed just seeing me get rid of a whole bunch of books, purge my shelves, ready for a fresh start to the new year. I am kind of already ready to go through my shelves again, so I would probably expect another unhaul relatively soon, um, but I do want to do one where you can actually see me going through my shelves and like deciding what to get rid of. I just think that would be a little more fun. So yeah, look out for that. Let me know in the comments if you're an unhauler or a hoarder. For a very long time I was a hoarder, I could not get rid of books. I, I couldn't do it. Even if I'd read it and I didn't like it, I would still keep it on my shelves, but it's just become impossible. I had over a thousand books in this teeny tiny room and it's starting to feel oppressive and it's starting to just being in here is starting to make me feel anxious and that's not what I want I want this to be like a little safe haven where I feel comfortable and where I can feel relaxed so for a variety of reasons I've just had to get rid of books and now the bug has bitten me and I just want to unhaul books. I just, I constantly want to be curating my personal library and downsizing until it just feels comfortable and manageable and I'm just excited about everything that's left on my shelves. Let me know in the comments what kind of person you are. I've been both. If you did enjoy this then please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you aren't already. In the description you'll find links to all of my social media, that's my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Goodreads as well as my blog. You'll also find links to my Patreon, my coffee, my Redbubble and my online store if you'd like to support me on any of those. And you will find my Blackwalls affiliate link in case watching me get rid of all of these books has made you want to buy some books. I don't know, could happen. Thank you again for watching and I shall see you all again very soon. Bye! My life is grounded in a